In this video, we will discuss about the basic settings of brush. As you already know, in the Photoshop, you must have used this all the settings size, flow, stroke capacity, spacing, distance. Distance means some uh, you create some. Wait a second, let me uh, restore it to default one, default brush. So you can see that over here, sometimes we are not able to create some exact uh, type of curve stroke. I know that and some of you which have a great hand painting skills, you can do it. Sometimes, like me, I don't. I'm not much into the uh, painting uh, background, so I use this brush. It's very helpful for you if you are not into painting background or your painting skills are not good. I mean, some. I think you know. So let's uh, increase this settings. You can see this will help you to achieve the curveness. So if you will reduce it, you can see that it is very quick. But if you will increase this one, this will help you to uh, achieve it very smoothly. So little bit of speed will reduce and you can have more control over it. So it is a very helpful brush. So I haven't used a pen tab much. So I mostly use mouse in the texturing. <laughs> so let's discuss about other properties. You can see the spacing over here. You can increase or decrease the spacing so you can see that there is a gap in the strokes so i use this one mostly in stitches so you can see in the stitches there should be some gaps you can see you can increase or decrease the uh, spacing as well as if you want to uh, wait a second what i did uh, let me re-enable the layer paint layer so you can find more settings of the brush over here in the right side in here you will see the brush settings properties in the, this one so you can see that there are some settings you can reduce the opacity you can increase the spacing and as well as this option follow path what really it does as you can see right over here the stitches is following the directions of our mouse but if you will disable it uh, this will not follow it so it is just like this you have to manually rotate the mouse i mean brush direction and that's how this will really work so this is very helpful keep it on if you want to make the brush follow your direction mouse direction so we will uh, see this one options jitter you can see the jitter over here size flow angle position so you can see over here you can create a randomness in here let me show you one by one so you can see there is some randomness in the sides and flow i think this creates some smoothness in some part like little opacity let me increase it you can, as you can see that uh, everyone don't have a hundred percent opacity there's some dullness here i mean little bit so let me keep it zero and let me also keep this one zero so you can see that there's some rotation in the brush strokes as you can see right over here there's some randomness rotation so this is position so this creates some offset in the brush you can see over here so you can utilize this option to create some unique thing creativity is all here you are the great artist the artist is hidden within you so you use the settings of this one to create something unique the other settings of brush that uh, we use is this one alignment side space uh, backspace calling i really don't use this one i keep this as it is so as you can see right over here notice this thing as you can see right over here the brush stock is not able to detect the depth of this 3d model i think so if you will enable this one tangent warp and also keep this one as object so this will able to detect the depth of the 3d model so as you can see right over here how the cursors is uh, changing its position so this is what really it does i think i mostly keep the setting as it is so other thing is that you can use the alpha in this one for example you made some custom alpha in photoshop and you can import it so right over here in this alpha session you will find this different type of alpha or you can import your one let me use this one you can double click over here and this will change the settings and you can draw the alpha your alpha okay so you can draw the alpha like this so this is a very helpful one if you want to disable it just cross it 
and also one more thing if you will do this one you want to restore it all you have to do is that you have to go over here just choose any brush so you are back to your default brush so this is a very helpful one and another thing is that let me show you and uh, there are some different type of brush you can use over here some are from photoshop some are from uh, substance painter library so it's very helpful one there are different type of brushes comrade i hope this video really help you and if you are new to this channel check out our channel videos which is related to texturing workflow tips and tricks if those really help you you can support us by smashing the subscribe button so comrade we will meet in next video